I'm Andrew. I'm a director of Family Ministries. I give Google Classroom four out of five stars, and for more reviews like this, click below. Prior to using Google Classroom, our institution was using a combination of Microsoft products to kind of simulate a classroom management system. It worked in the way that everything happened, but it wasn't terribly streamlined. And particularly as we were trying to connect students who were learning remotely, we needed something that was more streamlined, that was easier for students to be able to sign in, get immediately what they needed, and get to work. Google Classroom allowed us to do that, to kind of take an approach that had lots of different moving pieces and bring it all into one place. A couple other reasons we chose Google Classroom. The first is that it provided out-of-the-box sync support with our student information system. So getting classes scheduled, getting students rostered in those classes was about as simple as getting Google Classroom set up, setting sync data, and letting it go. Google Classroom also allowed us to integrate pretty seamlessly with lots of educational software products across the internet that either use Google Classroom to connect to students or allow faculty members to draw that content into their Google Classroom with just a click of a button. Getting started with Google Classroom was pretty seamless. The most amount of time was kind of getting our Google products talking to Google Classroom. So our students were already using Chromebooks, and so making sure that the Chromebook settings were connected to what we wanted to do with Google Classroom, just to make it as quick and painless as possible for students to make this transition. Another important thing about getting set up was making sure that some of our other products that manage student identities, in particular Clever, were talking to Google Classroom. That happens pretty much out of the box, but wanted to make sure those things were set up to, again, give students as smooth a process as possible. If you're thinking about getting Google Classroom for your institution, a couple things I might keep in mind. The first is that Google Classroom is very good at streamlining things. And for that reason, if you're looking to do something that's a little bit out of the box, Google Classroom might not be for you. Our instructors tell us that things like setting up multiple sections, assigning students to multiple subgroups within a particular class or course becomes a little bit complicated with Google Classroom's very streamlined and linear approach. So if you're looking for something that is going to kind of funnel your information and student process down, Google Classroom would be a good fit. But if you're looking something, looking for something that's going to give you lots of options, give you lots of granular control, you might need to look elsewhere. 